Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Star Wars The Cloners. We're on Season 5, Episode 16. This episode is called The Lawless. And at the beginning of the season, we did mess up accidentally and watch stuff out of order. So this would be paired up with the first episode. Or no, this would be paired up with Episode 15. But Episode 14 was supposed to be paired up with the first episode of this season. So everything's out of whack, out of order, on accident. My bad. So yeah, this one's just going to be a solo episode reaction here. And then episode 17 and 18 will be together, and 19 and 20 will be together. So two more weeks, and then we'll be on to season six. We yeah, this is the last episode of the Mandalore arc with Darth Maul, and the Death Watch, and Satine, and all of them. So anyways, without further ado, let's hop into it. Leave a like on the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe, become a member if you want, and let's go. In memory of Ian... Wait, I didn't get to see it. Dang, that's only up for two seconds. In memory of Ian Abercrombie. Okay, I just looked up who that was. It's the guy that plays um, Chancellor Palpatine in this series. Dang. I did not know about this. I did not know he um, dies halfway through. Dang, that just reminds me of exactly what happens in Avatar The Last Airbender as well with Uncle Iroh. And his voice actor. Rest in peace. To two kings. Morality separates heroes from villains. Oh boy. Ah, okay. You want, you traitor. I would never betray you, Auntie Satine. I'm here to rescue you. Why are you helping now? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. There was a time when we weren't enemies. Perhaps that time has come again. Okay. I wonder what we're gonna, we're gonna call bo new group. Surely she'll have a better, more kind name than the Death Watch. It's so strange how loyal they all, to, all are to Darth Maul already. That's how it is though. Take out. I don't remember there being this many Death Watch people with the exact same armor. <laughs> but whatever. It looks cool though. Uh oh. Oh, wait, that looks like Darth Maul armor. Oh, that's why they're all, okay, so it's been a little while. Okay, all the armor looks like Maul. I get it, I get it. He's gonna see Maul on this hologram. Maybe. Your help. Your thoughts help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Satine has been at odds with the Death Watch for years. Without involvement from the Separatists, this is an internal affair for mm -hmm. the Mandalorians. I'm afraid we cannot help. We cannot just hand Mandalore over to these crime families and let Satine become a martyr. It sucks so much, <laughs> the way the Republic does stuff. It's too governmental. At this time, nothing more can we do. We should be able to though. It's, that just sucks. Perfect. Dang, I kind of want that mall helmet. It looks sick. Because of Mandalore's neutrality, the Jedi have no jurisdiction here. If mm -hmm. Kenobi comes to rescue his friend, he will have to come alone. Oh, he's here. Oh, he has no idea what he's walking into. What is with what is with Obi Wan this season? Running into so many traps and then having to run away. <laughs> Easy. Take his armor. You always put your helmet on. Oh, well, hopefully no one saw you with it off. Oh, except her, that's good. Good news. Do more of your master's bidding. I do my own bidding. <laughs> Obi-Wan. <laughs> I kinda like Obi-Wan in, in this armor. Escape plan, then. As always, my dear. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Get her in that armor. You guys can both be in armor. Hey, oh no. Stop. I don't think this ship is gonna work. Oh, Maul and Savage are here. Where's Bokatan when you need her? Is she still watching from above? Who's your sister? Yeah, what? 
Ooh. Yeah, that they're going down. They're staying here for a bit. Oh. That was not a soft landing. <gasps> oh my gosh. That was like that was so close to killing both of them. <laughs> no. It can't be. It do be. Oh, this is so bad. We meet again, Kenobi. Confrontations like these feel like finale episodes. Take them back to the palace. Yo, he better not kill it. This is feeling like some Game of Thrones stuff right here. You should have chosen the dark side, Master what? Jedi. Your emotions betray you. Yo, put her down. In a nice way. It takes strength to resist the dark side. Only the weak embrace it. Mm. This is more than you know. And those who oppose it are more powerful than you'll ever be. Mm -hmm. Silence! You think you know me? It was I who languished for years thinking of nothing but you. The perfect tool for my vengeance is in front of us. I no. planned on killing you. But I will make Just you turning him. my pain. Yeah, he wants to hurt him so bad that he embraces the dark side. <gasps> no way! They actually killed her! In half? Oh. <gasps> that is so messed up. Oh, his little smile. I knew she'd be used against him. I just didn't know if he kn knew they loved each other. I've loved you always. I always will. That's why you're not supposed to uh, get connected with anyone, love anyone as a Jedi. Because all it'll do is, is hurt you. Kill him now, brother. No. Imprison <laughs> him below. Let him drown <laughs> in his misery. Dick. So she was just stabbed into it. It looked like he held it out sideways and then forced her through it. She was not cut in half. Wow, was she, she, she gone? Just like that. I knew if it was going to happen at all, it would probably happen here. When Maul takes over. You summon me, Chancellor. Prepare my ship. Now can the Republic intervene? Or I guess, no. Probably. Like, if they know... Obi-Wan's captured here. I'm pretty sure they can intervene, but they're not gonna, they don't need to. bo here. Dang. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's crazy. We've met. You are bo -Katan. I'm here to rescue you. That's all you need to know. Oh yeah, she's only met Ahsoka. <laughs> Jedi should use those. Why not? Get a little bit of advantage. Oh, this music. We ain't playing around. Chancellor. Yeah, the Chancellor. Duh, the music. So good. Oh. Oh my gosh, as he goes through, it's just still choking them. <laughs> I, I never liked those tiny little wrist shields. They don't make much sense. Like, they're just so tiny. Why? Get something uh, just a little bigger. Oh. Oh, that shot is so beautiful. Maul must really want you dead. You have no idea. Yeah, he, uh, that is his whole reason for living. I feel like as soon as, like, if he was to kill Obi-Wan, he would just literally pass away. Because all of his revenge and anger that he's living through would just die off. I think that's, like, the only thing keeping him alive. <laughs> oh, he here. Is Obi-Wan going to see any of this? No, he does He doesn't. But I always think different things are going to happen than what actually happens. And I have built all this in hopes of returning to your side. Hmm. 
How unfortunate that you are attempting to deceive me. Master? You have become a rival! Oh. I'm jealous? Oh. What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> His face. It looks terrifying. No, what's gonna... I mean... Only thing I could see happening here is Savage dying. I mean, yeah. So, he jealous of them becoming too powerful right now? I mean, same thing happened with Count Dooku a long time ago. Your city and sister, aren't you? Oh, what? Wait, I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, Wait, I, I didn't know. I knew she was royalty, so I guess that makes sense. Whoa. <laughs> Palpatine never been so agile. Actually, when you play as him in the Battlefront games and he does a little spin. That's pretty agile. He does that in the movie too. <laughs> Watching him fight sick. Oh, he can survive that. Maybe. I mean, we've seen him survive worse. Maybe not. Oh, wow. Maul really cares for him. Brother. The music is so good. The apprentice. You have been replaced. Why? Oh. Ho. <laughs> what? Oh. I love how he just forced that into his robe so quickly. Oh my gosh. There is no mercy. Oh. I have other uses for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like feel bad for Maul. Oh, it's over. I actually feel bad for him all. Like, he's reverting back to that little baby self that he was when he was a spider, going crazy again. Begging for mercy, like, ugh. He was this close. Well, he had the chance to kill Obi-Wan. He didn't want to, though. Just wants to torture him. But wow, Savage is dead. That's That was unexpected. Sidious did say there was only room for two apprentices, right? So Dooku and I'm guessing Anakin, Darth Maul is coming back is what has angered him here. And then Savage is also a thing to worry about taking over. Like all four of them teaming up against Palpatine would be really bad. That's why he went in there, I guess. He went in knowing perfectly well that he would be able to take on Savage and Maul. He didn't seem worried at all. He was enjoying it, laughing, giggling the whole time. <laughs> He seemed to have no worries at all. So he wasn't scared of them, I guess, taking over, which is my what, what I first thought. But more so that if they did grow strong enough on the power level of Dooku, I guess, that they could all team up against him. Or he just wasn't willing to train him. He's just, like, get out of my way, basically. Getting in the way of his master plan here. Torturing Obi-Wan and trying to turn him into the dark side. When Anakin is already the one Palpatine's after, maybe that's also another thing. And Palpatine knows Anakin's the chosen one. There's no room for Anakin and Obi-Wan to go bad. Just Anakin. Anyways, things are heating up here. Um, Mandalore is... Man Mandalore is destroyed right now. It is in pieces. Yeah, I never, though, connected the dots that bo was Satine's sister. That's crazy. That's new information to me. We knew since, since I watched Mandalorian that she is royalty. Just didn't know it was royalty like related to Satine at all. I might have, I might have said something like that in season three of Mandalorian. I don't remember. I was like, what if she's related to Satine? I'm pretty sure I said something like that, but I completely forgot at this point. Anyways, this season from the end uh, or from the first episode all the way till now. Well, I guess we didn't get much Maul actually this whole season until this arc here. Because the first episode of the season was supposed to be in this arc. But he has been out of control, doing his own thing, creating armies, taking over planets. And it's been getting in the way of Palpatine's master plan here. So, he 
is now put in check. He has no apprentice anymore. He's just alone. No army, no death watch. And Palpatine says he has a use for him. So now he's going to be taking orders from him, I'm guessing. One's going back to Coruscant to warn a bunch of people about what happened here on Mandalore. Or maybe not warn, but tell them what happened. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. Four episodes left in this season, and then we're on to season six, which is also a shorter season than this one. It is 13 episodes compared to like 20 here. Anyways, yeah, that's all I got to say today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below your thoughts on this episode. Subscribe. Helps out a ton. We're trying to hit 10k by the end of this year. And yeah, that's it for today. See you guys in the next video very, very soon.